Central Texas Life with Ann Harder presents Central Texas Events. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Central Texas Events. Ann Harder here with you, and we are talking about one of the major events in Central Texas this fall, and that is the Walk to End Alzheimer's. And it's an amazing thing, been going on for many years. I have uh, Tiffany Koslovsky, who's regional director of the walk, and Reese Flood, who's the event chair. And glad to have you here today to talk about this. It's coming up on the 14th of yes. October. It's a Saturday. Yes. Bright and early, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, registration starts at 8 o'clock, okay. and we will get our ceremony started at 9, and people start walking about 9.45, mm -hmm. and then we'll be done about 11. And this is a new location too, Legends Crossing. It's I know I've done it many years in the past down at the suspension bridge. Yes, they we uh, previously in the past had it at the suspension bridge, and mm -hmm. then uh, later on they had it out at Brazos Park East. Right. Um, but we have grown so much that we needed a new location, and so we have updated the location and a couple other things. That Legends Crossing is our first year there. Well, that's cool, Reese. Tell me about your involvement with this. You're now Tiffany's on staff, oh, but. Right. But you're a volunteer. You I, just kind of got involved. You're right. Yeah. So I'm in just a, strictly in a volunteer role. Uh -huh. um, uh, years ago, I attended uh, a walk in Alzheimer's. Was really just blown away mm -hmm. by the event. It was much more than I ever expected. Um, we have some family history with Alzheimer's. We're currently dealing with the situation right now with both of my parents. Mm -hmm. um, so over the past few years, after my first event I attended, I just said, okay, I need to get involved with this group. Uh, got more and more involved each year. Uh, and so for the past few years, I've been the chairman uh, for the Walk to End Alzheimer's here in Waco. Great event, um, but it's, you know, we're all affected by this situation in what, to one degree or another. Mm -hmm. um, and given our, our uh, personal uh, situation, I thought, okay, this is my chance to, to do something to help. Don't just sit back and watch. I'm going to get involved, do something to help. And this has been a great organization. We have a tremendous team of volunteers that put this on. And it's a year-long effort been working hard and we're really excited about October 14th. Well, that's what it takes. Uh, but you tell me last year's event, 500 people. I mean, that's huge. We did. Uh, it was, we had just over 500 people, even though it was a, a very stormy, stormy <laughs> day that day. Yes. Yeah. Um, it wasn't just rain. It was very oh, high winds wind. and oh, flood. So, but we still, it was, it was amazing how Waco still showed up mm -hmm. and came out and, mm -hmm. and wanted to participate and, it's it's something that draws people yeah well now this year you are at 80 percent of your goal which is which our goal is 170,000 for the great. year and we are we, we are doing very well yeah. this year so we're, we're excited but i know that waco is going to get to that hundred percent you got to and um waco waco helps us out so we're looking forward okay to that. so how can folks sign up Again, they just show up that morning. Yes, people can show up that morning. Mm -hmm. uh, registration starts at 8 o'clock, so absolutely. If you don't register beforehand, please come out. You can still do that, or if you're trying to decide if you're going to be able to make it or not. But we do prefer that people register before, just so mm -hmm. we can get a good head count um, uh, prior to. They can go to act.alz.org backslash Waco, and sign up there it's free to register for your team and it's free to register participants uh, everybody that does register and self donates or fundraises a hundred dollars or more qualifies for their walk shirt very good yes but some teams i would suspect may have their own shirts yes i know uh, they do that that's um, i'm glad you brought that up because uh, a lot of teams do create their own shirts which yeah. is really great we Mem love that in memory or mm -hmm. you know we are actually or... having a team t-shirt contest so oh, okay. this year so i'm glad you brought that up because <laughs> uh, during the the ceremony we will ask for any teams that would like to participate and enter their shirt into that contest to come forward to the stage mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to pre-register for that but you do have to wear your shirts that day yeah yeah well that that's great and of course the wonderful dave ennis was uh playing music at uh, lounge 93 just right there very close to where the walk will be at the kickoff, yes. and you say uh, Dave is going to be playing. He is. He, so he was so great, great to us, and came yeah. out to our kickoff party, which was uh, the largest kickoff party in the he history was. of the it's North fantastic. Central Texas That's area. That's what I heard. I mean, it was packed. It was packed. We had 152 people there, so we were very <laughs> excited. That's good. And uh, so, yes, Dave played, and everybody always enjoys him. So it, he yeah. is going to be playing on the landing there at at. Um, 
at the end of Lounge 93, at the end mm-hmm. of that building. Mm-hmm. And um, we have a lot of other activities going on. We have uh, Waco Axe Company is coming out. Oh, good. Uh, we will have Top Golf there. We will have the main event is coming and bringing some games. And uh, we have a gaming trailer that's coming. <laughs> we have Hawaiian Falls is our actual Kid Zone sponsor, and they are bringing out the Ohana games and some real fun games for the kids. Uh, we will have face painting done by Mercy House, which is really fabulous because mm-hmm. we didn't have that last year. Um, we will have Bubble Vision is coming to do the life-size bubbles for the kids. And then we have um, Home Instead is our community mission yeah. tent area sponsor, and that's where all the vendors will be. So we will have all the camaraderie there and everybody together, but you'll still be able to get information about what's available should you need it in our area. Well, Reese, and that's what's so important about what the Alzheimer's Association does in helping families dealing with this horrific diagnosis um, because caregivers need a lot of help. And that's right. And in, in, in this situation, so many times it's the family member that yeah. becomes the caregiver. Mm-hmm. Uh, when, when that was never on their radar, but now their, their loved one, their spouse, uh, their parent, whoever the situation may be, uh, now all of a sudden you're stepping into that caregiver role. And so the question is, how do you do that? You know, do you say, okay, I'm going to spend my time to take care of mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or my, my husband or my wife. Uh, am I going to not go to work and stay home to do that? Right. Or do I go to work and find somebody else to step into that role on my behalf? And if so, how do you find that person? What does it cost? How do you find the right person? Do they mesh well with your loved one? Do they mesh well with you? Are they delivering the service you expected and the quality of care you need them to do? That those are those are a lot of tough hurdles to get over, a lot of challenges to figure out, and that's the the situation my family was in. We mm-hmm. got to a point where my siblings and I uh, looked at each other and said, "We need help because we cannot do this by ourselves anymore." Um, so we we went to the Alzheimer's Association here in Waco, and my sister and I we sat down in their office for hours, and they just walked us through step by step. Here's what you need to think about. Here's some things to consider. Here are some avenues to go and the resources available to help you and your family. So in our situation is that both of my parents uh, are living with dementia right now, so they don't really have the ability to take care of each other. Um, so, you know, so often that can be the case. Yeah. One spouse is sacrificing their own health sometimes You're right. to and it care is, for that one. It is a sacrifice, and it does affect that, mm-hmm. in that caregiver uh, individually. Uh, they do sacrifice their health, yeah. their time, their well-being. Their, it's, and it's just a challenge. You, you can't do this alone. The good news is you don't have to do it alone. Yeah. Right. There is help out there, and there is support, and that's what this walk is all about. Oh, yeah, and it's been going on a while. How many this years? This is our 21st year. 21st year. Yes. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I remember being at several of them in years past, and and just, um, you know, because it's a horrible thing, let's face it. Yes. But there is a sense of camaraderie and joy, and everybody is kind of coming together for a common good, and yeah, it's it's a it's a great event. It is, and I, I want to jump in here because it, it, it's what struck me the first time I ever came. Uh-huh. Um, it, it it is somber, it's poignant at times, right? But it's a festive atmosphere. Yeah, uh, you realize like you're not alone. Nobody's walking through this alone. If you are, you need to come to the walk, be surrounded by a community that's all in this together. We are all focused on the same thing, which is finding a cure, and finding help and support for this. So. Uh, if you've never been to the walk to end Alzheimer's, like Tiffany said, it's free to sign up. It's free to attend. Go online, sign up, attend. Just see what it's all about and, and see who else has your back. You mm-hmm. know, who else is there to support you and walk with you through this challenge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you don't necessarily have to have a team. But no, no, you don't. You can still come as, as an, an individual, individual, bring your family. You can do that. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing that people don't understand is or or maybe don't think about because you know who wants to think about alzheimer's and dementia is 11 million people are caregivers in this country who are unpaid of course because they are taking care of loved ones Mm -hmm. that comes out to you're looking at around 340 billion dollars of unpaid caregiving that's happening and so we are trying to make sure that people know that they're not alone um and another thing that people don't always understand or don't know is that Alzheimer's and dementia kill more people, take more lives than breast cancer and prostate cancer together combined. Wow. So it's it's something that people don't talk about a lot. They don't. Uh, there's a stigma that people don't want to uh, to 
get out there. But this is your chance to come and be a part of that. It's okay to do this is your safe space mm -hmm. and be there with us. Um, when you register, you'll get a wristband. So uh, this year we're doing something a little different since we're going to be at our new location. You'll get a wristband when you register. And after the walk, you will be able to go to one of the restaurants that's participating with us, um, Fish City Grill, uh, Lounge 93, and Chewy's mm -hmm. are participating with us to give you a give back or a discount. Uh, so that'll be super great to be able to take the family afterwards because by the time we're done with the walk, they're opening up and you're right there. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Well, this is a giving community. I mean, this is a, I, I've seen it over and over and over through the years. Yes. Um, but Alzheimer's is something that just touches everybody it because does. as you say, it's just so widespread. I mean, it's, in, you know, in, in our, all our families, just about, it seems like. Um, but there's hope. I mean, you tell me your son is going to school because he wants to research this. Yes, my son is going to school. He would like to, he's doing research currently on Alzheimer's and dementia patients to try to find a cure and a non-medical um, treatment as, as such right now to help give that better quality, uh, more time. Um, he's, he's trying to get there before we may need it. Um, we've had yeah. quite, a, quite a bit of Alzheimer's and dementia in our family, so um, that, that gene runs very, very Right, I family. mean, we, we can see that, and, and it's the kind of thing um, that, that if you have questions, maybe you wonder, you know, my little mental lapses, what, what is this? There's information, there's yes. support, there's people that can answer your questions. That's what's important to know about Absolutely. the Alzheimer's Association. Yeah. Well, and we don't just do that. The, one of the other things that we do that we don't talk about very much is uh, we advocate to our state, local, and yes. federal um, advocates. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, we really, to those leaders, we really try to, we try to push through those uh, barriers that to, so that people can get better health care, mm -hmm. all be getting the same treatments not as expensive as they are mm -hmm. so that everybody has a chance to get those and, and be a part of that and and make sure that the insurance companies and um, other programs are covering those and so we work very diligently on that as well well a lot of great great stuff happening and uh, again this walk is coming up on the 14th of october yes at eight o'clock in the morning yes. and you can show up that day but it's better if you go online and tell them again where that is sure it's act.alz dot org backslash waco very good tiffany reese thank you both thank so much you. for thank all you. you're doing on behalf of alzheimer's and all those families that are dealing with this and thank you yeah it's going to be a wonderful event i hope to see you there and thank you for joining us for central texas events we'll see you next time bye bye <laughs>